So this video is going to be about PG or Purified Google of the Night. Um, put a symbol, you hit your I key for inventory and this bar graph like tab for stats. You will see various currencies. Um, Purified Google of the Night. Purified Google of the Night is earned from doing certain activities such as uh, I think sieges and incursions. Sieges are a blue icon on your map similar to the contract icon in color. Uh, incursions are the yellow circles and also for contracts you get PG Arc falls, you get PG. However, that's not to be confused with arc breaks, which are the same icon on the map. Um, arc breaks are basically War Master, and arc falls, well, uh, should say arc fall, <clears throat> but those will give you the PG. You can also get them from the roadside emergencies. They're like one or two ghoul night only per roadside. Yeah, side. not. The the dailies give 50 purified ghoul and eat purified ghoul and each. And the uh, if you get 125,000 score on the sieges and incursions, you can get a maximum of 280 purified ghoul night. Yeah, the PG. Um... In most instances, it is score based on how much you earn. Uh, there's a lot of debate on how that ties into expeditions, whether it does or doesn't. Expedition seems kind of random, I guess you could say, as far no, as what you get. The developers have said it's random and does not tie into score at all. Okay, but that's only for expeditions. Everything else is uh, score based as far as earning it. Um, there is multiple places to spend PG, which PG is one of the, um, more valuable currencies in the game that is spendable at a vendor. And well, like this one in front of me is a standard X and anus runner and at overpass. Uh, yeah, I'm at overpass. Um, there are different locations throughout. Yeah, Every there's fast just, travel location will have one. Yeah, most fast travel locations have one that they all sell the same crap, except currently at this time of this video, there are multiple exanimous runners at Iron Demon Ranch. Whether that stays or changes is a whole other. Who knows? We don't know. They may take them out. They may keep them. We don't know. Uh, but for the most part, people just buy this top box x supply crate. However, I'm not going to sit here and say or recommend one box over the other box. You can read what they contain and decide on your own will what you want to spend your PG on. Because I can go on and on about that and there will be a hundred different opinions and well who's to say one's better than the other which asshole stinks which one doesn't you uh, should probably mention that there are three you can there's a set loop pool of guns with three different synergies and the synergies rotate out every few months yes you can read the vendor what the those synergies are at that current time you know you cannot read it from the vendor they don't uh, say uh, in the boxes what synergies are in there, I don't believe. Uh, I thought they did, but I don't really pay attention to that vendor anyway, so. I Let, Lately, they've been giving you two older synergies and making up a third new one. So every couple months, whenever they do that, uh, they'll let you know in the forums what, they, what they'll be. Yeah. And there's always a chance at perfect legendaries from those um, boxes, which are... Orange guns with bonuses, for lack of a better term. Uh, yeah, uh, here at Iron Demon Ranch, 
assuming they leave this in, they say there's no set time for removal, which means they may leave this in the game. They may later on just decide, well, they're going to take it out because they want to take it out, or for whatever reason. Uh, the most popular one, I would say, is the x Assault Rifle Dealer. And basically, you can go down the list of types of guns and synergies and pick what you want to buy with, well, real money or in-game earned Purified Ghoulinite or PG and combination of script. And I'm not going to go over what synergy is, I'm going to say to buy or not to buy. It's kind of opinionated based, but I will say there are ones that are clearly better than others. And you can ask, and if you join the clan, you can ask the team speaker, whatever, and what people recommend, because there's going to be hundreds of different opinions about which is better and which is not better. And, well, there are clearly ones that are better than others, but I also point out that the Iron Demon vendor is have the entire loot pool of guns in them, whereas the X and Anus vendors have a slightly more limited loot pool. Yeah, um, I, me personally, I I spend my cooling at this X and Anus uh, assault rifle dealer. Because I can get more, I can get kind of selective, and I can get a. You can pick your synergy. Uh, yeah, I can pick the synergy, and I can pick the uh, like a perfect. It's guaranteed perfected weapon, and the crate, so I can just. You're guaranteed of, a perfected weapon in that in that for fifty two, hundred goldenite, or is the uh, the other ones the runners at the towns. That uh, we've been a lot of us, even on the forums, have bought a lot of the 125 uh, purified Golanite crates and have figured out it takes around eight to ten thousand uh, purified Golanite to get a perfected weapon that can be any in that whole range. So uh, I think it's better in the end, through my only opinion, that it's better to do the the runners at the Iron Demon Ranch because you're guaranteed to perfect it at 5200, which is cheaper. Yeah, so you're kind of getting the gun type that you want. A perfected is. Um... It's kind of like a jackpot, but it doesn't... Jackpots, guns have fixed rolls on them. As far as... I'll show you what I mean by rolls. There's the white, green, blue, purple, orange. Jackpots have fixed rolls. Uh, perfected do not have fixed rolls. They're random. You know, you can re-roll it and all this and that. That's going to be another video as far as doing that. But perfected, perfected legendaries have higher bonuses than jackpots. Yes. So perfected have potentially great potential to be better than a jackpot. However, jackpot will have usually the ideal rules you want usually, but not always. Uh, but yeah, basically the perfected is what the players were after. There's different types of perfected there's four different types i don't remember them all top of my head there's berserk there's dynamic berserk and precise yeah dynamic I... has a, just a higher damage than the uh, regular jackpots uh berserk has a higher fire rate and higher damage precise has higher damage and higher crit to basically is the ba main difference between them also, at this, these vendors here, you can get uh, mod boxes that uh, somewhere in here. Try to find one. I don't see the mod boxes. 
they're on the other side. Uh, there's a whole wall of them. On oh, is another vendor? Yeah, yeah it's, it's another Almost vendor. One whole side is uh, guns on both sides, and if you go to the other side, it's mods on both sides. Okay. Anyway, yeah. what he said. The uh, the mod vendor has orange boxes that will give you a guaranteed um, orange Five. mod of a Pacific Synergy. Um, I it's kind of arguable whether that's really worth it or not because there's very little difference between a purple T4 and an orange T5 mod. There's not a whole lot of difference in players are willing to trade the purple uh, mods a lot easier than the orange ones, obviously, and there's at some point there was more round and I think T5 mods are, or, as known as orange, are a little bit overrated to some extent. So, I don't know. I don't know if I'd spend a lot, lots of my PG on the mods, but unless you're one of those that has to have a perfect thing for show or something, but... Um, I don't know. Anyone else have any... Uh, Thoughts on PG? Um, the three the vendors, three vendors are that at, don't uh, disappear or might not disappear. Penumbra. Oh, yeah. Penumbra as well, yeah. Uh, okay, I know what Penumbra, the three vendors you're referring to. Uh, Highlands Transit uh, Depot has one vendor. Uh, Overpass has the other vendor. And um, well, I showed the, the Overpass one. That's the same yeah. thing, basically. And then the, the, the Handlands Transit is on the side of the building. And there's one more vendor. Yeah, uh, those, all the fast travel points have X and Anus vendors. Yeah, those okay. they all sell the okay. same thing. Okay. Except for the starting area. Except for what? Except for the starting area. I'm talking about the X Anus runner. Yeah, I went there and showed that. Okay, well, there's only one at Headlands Transit, uh, Overpass, and then there's one more. I forgot where it's at. Let's see. Every fa almost every fast travel has an X and Anus runner at it. I think as Doc Happy, said, the Happy Pal doesn't, uh, Blood Bad doesn't, the Crater does, Earth Republic uh, doesn't. Yeah, Mer, Mer Processing doesn't. See, there's some that are and some don't have it. Sorry, I thought Mer did. It's uh, off to the side, like they're they're kind of hidden away. Oh, okay, okay. So some do, some don't, but most of them do. So here we go. Iron Demon is the one with the. With the runners that might be get might be going away, we're not sure about that yet. And you want to talk about Pi, uh, the guy you got to find? Uh, Penumbra is uh, you when you do real time it, emergencies. Yeah, that's he what I'm has talking a about. Chance at appearing. Yeah, the, uh, Penumbra. Um... He appears at roadside emergencies, and if you're wondering what a roadside emergency is, basically, when you drive down the road and you see a roadblock with a bunch of enemies, that is a roadside emergency. I mean, you will find them right and left if you play the game. When you complete a roadside emergency, you have, like, maybe a 1% chance or something, or 2%, something ridiculously low chance of this a guy appearing who appears like the uh, ex Nana's vendors... The, he's basically ghoulin just like these guys. He appear, he can appear in rare chance, and he sells um, jackpot weapons and uh, what else? He, I, it's been a while since I've been he there. He will sell a rotating list of jackpot weapons for 12,500 ghoulinite, I want to say, that are bound to whoever character buys them. And there are boxes of 10k... A ghoulinite for a perfected weapon that'll be bound to you, or a perfected mod that will be bound to you. Sorry, the jackpots are not bound to you, actually. And these are old jackpots from the old synergies. And you can usually check the forums to see what the latest um, jackpots are. People will usually post them up every week. Yeah, the Defiance forums, oftentimes players are nice and they post that. Um, I try to encourage people in Chaos Crew to 
post it in the um, Chaos Crew forms section on the Chaos Crew page. But uh, yes, it rotates, and a lot of times there, it's stuff that uh, you may not want to spend your PG on. You know, it may be kind of a jackpot, but User it's not a very channel. good one. So sometimes it's best before you dump all your PG on Penumbra to ask other members, hey, is what Penumbra has? He has this or that. Is it worth investing my PG into. Does, uh, any other thoughts on PG? No. Nope. Alright, uh, I think that's about it.